Hey guys, it's Joey here. Welcome back to another Farming Simulator 2017 Let's Play video. Um, today I'm back on the Gold Crest Valley map. Um, just driving around the tundra. So, um, yeah, I don't really. I mean, there's not really a lot to like. Sorry, I'm just kind of uh, just trying to think of what I could talk about here. Um. Hmm. Well, yeah, uh, I have a, um, I know I've been saying this a lot lately, but I have a, a new series coming to the, well, not new series, um, a new game. Oh, oh. Well, just getting the water didn't spray up, hit the fire hydrant. Um, anyway, I'm working on a, just a small new series um, with a friend of mine, actually, and we recorded a video on Saturday, but it didn't really go very well. Like I'm working with a new software called OBS, so um, well, little lack of turn signal, there, dude. Um, but anyway, so I tried to record a video on Saturday, but it was kind of all over the place. So we're gonna try again this uh, Saturday, um, and fingers crossed it all goes well. Um, that if it does, then we'll have a new little series. And I'm not gonna say who the friend is or who the um, yeah who the friend is or what the series like the game is, but you guys will hopefully see that uh, coming very very soon. So that's that's pretty exciting. Um, and she's not really a, like a well-known um, YouTuber, but I'm sure after my videos she'll be pretty well known. So that's all I'm gonna give you though. It's a she, so you guys will you guys will enjoy it though. But um, and then as I said in my previous video, I'm working on uh, farming simulator. Uh, projects like working on um, some mods like the Tundra and the Tahoe um, and they should be I mean I'm gonna work on them this weekend but if any of you are uh, modders in the community um, can kind of give me a bit of like help on farming simulator uh, 17 modding because there are videos out there um, but None of them really are for 17, they're more for 15, so then I would have to convert from 15 to 17. So, I mean, I would like to just do it straight off the, or through Giants to, um, to, uh, 17, but I may have to do the conversion, conversions. Also, sorry if you can hear my dog barking in the background, she's... Parking at, I don't even know what, so, but, you know, um, so yeah, it's probably some sort of squirrel or something, I don't know, but, anyway, so, if, any, anyway, if you guys, uh, any of you know how to do, um, modding for 17, please let me know, because I would, uh, like to just do it straight to 17 and not to, uh, 15 and then convert it to 2017, so. That's kind of where I'm at right now. Um, so, and I have the model. I just the other issue too is I'm trying to get it to a higher format. Um, or no, sorry, from to a lower or yeah, higher format. The Tundra because it keeps going to a low. There's two versions. There's a high uh, version and then there's a low version. And whenever I keep converting it, it keeps going to or not converting it, but putting it into Giants, it keeps going to the low version. And the low version kind of messes up. Um, like the truck a bit, like you have to do a lot of work, like the tires aren't on, like the truck properly, and so I'm trying to put it into the higher version, but it's not working for some reason, it keeps going to the lower version, so, I mean, and it's confusing because when I was looking at it in uh, Blender, everything was intact, and every, the, all the parts were there, but then you throw it into Giant's Editor, and things are not working, so... 
if any of you also know how to fix that problem, uh, please tell me in the comments below, because I would really uh, like to fix that problem so that it's not like that when you put it into the game. So, because I if like I hope this goes well, because if all goes well, this will be like my first ever model for uh, farming simulator. So, um, you know, it would be nice to kind of have. Uh, something that looks good and just all around is amazing, you know. So, I like to put a lot of work and stuff into it. I don't want to just, you know, work quickly and then throw it out there. Um, I'd like to sort of make it look really good. So, you know, fix... I mean, Offspring's Tundra is really, really nice, but I'd like to fix some of the things that are in it. Um, you know, like some of the things that he has on it and... You know, I, I don't want to just fix them on his truck. I'd like to do it so that I have something a bit better. You know, you know, not that Offspring's truck will be better. I mean, I'm sure he's working on a, another version, as I said previously. But I'd like to um, do my own so then it's I can release it as well. I don't have to get his permission or anything. So, you know, that's kind of where I'm at with the standpoint right now. Um, and plus, I think it's just more you know, uh, appropriate, well, I don't think appropriate is the right word, but, I mean, I just think it's, makes more sense to let him release his models, because he put the time and effort into them, you know, he spent the money on them, um, so, you know, I, that's what I'm kind of at right now, I mean, all I really did was just change the color, because I'm not a huge fan of the red, um, but I, you know, I, that's why I was going to make mine color changeable, so you guys can choose whatever, you know, you don't have to go in like I had to do and, you know, change everything, you know, for you, it's just, you know, two clicks of a button, right, you know, change color and then pick your color and you're good to go, pretty much, so, you know, and, I'll, and if you'd like to, I can try and make it so it doesn't get dirty, but that's kind of the standpoint I'm at, so, because, you know, I like to spice up the colors here and there, you know, you could choose like black or blue or, you know, purple if you would like, or, you know, turquoise, so, you know, that's kind of what I matter, or even if you're a fan of the red, or, you know, you can do that, like, that's kind of what I thought, right, because then that gives you more of a variety of colors to choose from, what the heck is this car doing, come on, granny, drive faster, this is a street, I don't even know what the speed limit is, but she ain't going to speed limit, she's going like 18. Come on, Granny, drive faster. Maybe I should just rear end her, because she's just driving so slow. Let's see the speed limit. 35! There's no way on earth she's going 35. She's going under the speed limit. Yeah, you turn your car. Goodbye. I'm gonna go over the speed limit. Jeez, I hate getting stuck by the behind those drivers. They take so slow. Like they drive so slow. There's the Granny again driving her car. Yeah, there was no way she was going 35. She was going like 18 or yeah, 18, 19. Jeez. Well. At least we don't have to be stuck behind her anymore. Yikes. Anyway, but um, back to what I was saying. So yeah, it's even with the Tahoe, it'll be color changeable too. So you guys don't have to uh, don't have to um, you know like go in and manually change colors and stuff. And I'll probably change the rims to these rims for both cars. You know, as, as I said, I'm not a hundred percent sure. Um, but you know. I'm going to do a little bit of changing, but not a lot, um, but I really wanted to produce a Tundra, because these trucks are, like, my absolute favorite, so, I mean, I love these trucks, these are just amazing trucks, so, and, I mean, this truck looks sick, I love the white color, too, it looks very sleek looking, and, oh, great, I'm going to be stuck behind these bulldozers again, well, it's a good thing it's a passing lane, see you guys later. Okay, stop it. Stop sign. Oh, or just barrel right through. That's the one thing I don't like about this truck, is that 
it, it has a very, very slow stop rate. Like, most vehicles would stop, like, right then and there, but this truck it just kind of blows through the intersection. That's one thing I want to fix with my truck, is I want to make it stop a lot faster. You know, it makes it easier, because most of the trucks out there, you can stop faster than this truck. But this truck, it's slow, like, it slows down like at a very, very slow pace. And that's not necessarily good, because if you're going a bit faster, you know, you need to stop, you know, a bit quick, like, you know, a bit quicker. Like, if you're going down the freeway, and you need to stop, and, you know, make your turn to turn off the freeway, you're going to miss your turn, because the truck has a very slow stop rate, so. But, you know, I mean, the acceleration rate is pretty good, like, it can excel pretty fastly, but. When you're slowing down, it takes a bit of time to slow down. That's why you gotta stop before the stop sign, like at least a couple feet away from the stop sign, because the truck will take a bit to stop. So, but all in all, I like this truck. I mean, you know, there are a few issues that I would fix with my version, um, but you know, it's not bad. I like it. It's a very sleek looking truck, and you know, very nice looking. Oh, we hit the guy's truck. Oops. But you know, I think it looks good. I think it's it's a really nice truck. But I'm gonna do some fixing with mine, and uh, you know, I'll uh, do some work towards mine and all that. So, but anyway, I think this will be the end of the video here. Oops! Oh, stop! 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 This is what I this is what I mean. The acceleration rate. You know, you want to stop at a Specific stop, like you know, spot, and it takes a bit to, it, you know, stop. Okay. Well, anyway, um, this is it for today's video. Uh, if you guys enjoyed, uh, give me a big like and uh, tell me down below what you guys plans are for this weekend. Um, mine are probably going to be recording a video for you guys um, with that special guest star that I was telling you about. And working on the Tundra. And trying to figure out the uh, Tahoe. So. And the map as well. Um, so yeah. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed. And uh, yeah. See you next time. Peace.